Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with um, a review video. This is from my Wolf Wicks order. Um, I finally, excuse me, my voice cut out. I finally melted um, my first Wolf Wicks orders. Um, they come with two paws and I, you know, cut them in half and melted one paw. So, I am finally here with that review. I wanted to get this out for you. That's why I haven't been um, doing weekly wax picks, or bi-weekly wax picks, I should say, because I've been reviewing wax. So I've been doing um, Wolf Wicks, and I've been doing Plaid Stallion Candle Company. Um, so that's why, like I said, I haven't had any wax picks. I'm probably not going to have any... Uh, empties for this month either because I haven't melted anything so I wasn't really home a lot this month because of a lot of things going on with my house and all that um, so I wanted to get some of these reviews out for you guys so the first thing we have and by the way today is my birthday you're seeing this on August 26th so that is my birthday. <laughs> anyway, that was a little side note, but let's get into the first one. This is, as you can tell, they come with the, well, the second paw is gone, but I just half this and put each half in a separate warmer. Um, so the first one we have here is Kool-Aid Watermelon Bubblegum, and I did write down all of my, you know, wax stuff in this little diary so this is a harry potter like little harry potter journal so this is just what i write down my wax reviews in so this one like i said is kool-aid watermelon bubblegum this one is i get the strongest um is watermelon on warm and cold actually so what i pick up is the watermelon the most on warm and cold like I said sorry I'm totally out of it today so I apologize but I apologize if I can't talk normal or you know I say something over again it's just been a crazy crazy week so yeah <laughs> uh, this okay the strongest thing I get on cold and warm is watermelon and then I pick up a hint of the pink bubblegum in the background the Kool-Aid, I don't know, I think it, is it Kool-Aid Watermelon? I don't even know if Kool-Aid has a watermelon flavor, but anyway, the strength was pretty good. I gave it a 3 out of 5, and it lasted about 6 hours, so the throw was pretty well on this. Um, yeah, I would probably order this again. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of trying to not melt as much bubble gum scents anymore because they do tend to give me a headache, so... Moving on to the next one, we have Grapefruit Satsuma Watermelon Lime and Coconut. And this one, I pick up the Grapefruit and Lime more on warm. The Grapefruit is slightly sweet with a touch of bitterness and acidity. Um, there's a bite of lime and I get a hint of coconut. The coconut is... Uh, definitely on the artificial side but it's still a very like nice citrusy summer blend the strength i gave it a five out of five it is super strong this will knock you out of the house with just one little paw and i believe these are an ounce each so not bad the throw was really good it was about I want to say six and a half to seven hours. So this one lasted pretty long. Um, a, I feel like a lot of hers lasted a while. Some were like on the, you know, shorter side, but that's okay. It's going to happen with any, any type of wax. So the next one we have here is Blonde Moment, which is ice champagne, raspberry, and cranberry um, blended with cotton candy, strawberry. So there is the paw here. These are actually very, very beautiful when melted because sometimes you can't really see what's hiding in this paw, whereas this one is purple, it's got some pink in there, it's got blue chunks in there, um, so it's, they're gorgeous when melting. 
So this one is a sweeter version of Blonde Moment with a touch of artificial strawberry. Um, to me, it almost smells like it has a slight fizzy note from it, from the champagne. Um, it also has a little bit of tartness from the cranberry, but it's still a very nice sweet scent. If you know Blonde Moment, to me, it smells kind of like a grapey type scent, but this one does not actually. I really do pick up the cranberry and the champagne. Um, to my nose, I definitely got that fizzy note. The strawberry, I don't really like. I don't know if it's this particular strawberry oil um, that she uses that I don't like. I'm not sure if she has a couple strawberries oils, but I don't really care for this one. It's very artificial. The strength, I gave it a 3 out of 5. This one was okay. Not the strongest, which is surprising because Blonde Moment is usually strong to me, and this one only lasted about three hours, maybe three and a half. Um, yeah, this one wasn't that great. I probably wouldn't order it again. I could definitely pick up Blonde Moment um, somewhere else. Um, all right, the next one we have is Blackberry Mango Sorbet Marshmallow. Again, this one is so beautiful. It's so pretty melting because it has all that color in there. Um, so, this one smells absolutely amazing. It's a very, very, very sweet. Very sweet. A nice, true blackberry scent with a very sweet, gooey marshmallow. Um, the Mango Sorbet, I don't really pick much of... I don't really pick much of it up on warm, but I do pick up the mango on cold. Um, it's definitely far in the background. I would for sure order this again. It's If you don't like sweet scents, this is definitely not for you, but if you really like true blackberry fragrances, this one you should definitely give a try. If she doesn't have it on her Etsy store, by the way, she's on Etsy. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but if you see my haul, I did mention it. Now, if she doesn't have this fragrance on her Etsy site, you can email her uh, the scent that you want and she will make it for you, which is amazing. That is amazing customer service right there. A lot of vendors don't do that because they usually have restocks of what they want to restock. Some will ask you on their Facebook group, you know, what they want to see and then the, the vendor can pick and choose. But she will definitely customize your order for you. You could um, custom order anytime you want and uh, it's awesome. That's why I love going back to this company. I do have a couple more hauls from her. So, we'll uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, this one was really good. The strength was definitely 5 out of 5, which I was surprised by because, you know, blackberry, marshmallow, mango, it doesn't really, you wouldn't think it would last long, but this one was great. It threw very well. However, it didn't really throw that long. I want to say it was about 5 hours. Not too bad. Um, you know, what can you expect? I always try to... Um, like, I like scents that are probably like six hours because that's, that's a good time frame for something to smell. So, not too bad. I would definitely order that again, no doubt. Um, the next one we have here is Marsh, or Marshmallow, Maraschino Cherry, Blue Raspberry Slushy, Blue Cotton Candy Fizzy Pop. This one was another one that was beautiful, um, to melt, very pretty in the warmer. Now, this, the strongest scent that I get on warm is the cherry and the fizzy pop. I get a hint of the blue raspberry, but not much. I feel like the cotton candy definitely adds a bit of more sweetness to it. It's a very good and sweet fizzy cherry scent. It just smells like summer to me, like like the bomb pops. That's exactly what I smell, but fizzy, if that makes sense, um, with less of like the blue raspberry note to it. But this was amazing. The strength, I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. The only problem is this one didn't last that long, probably about 3 hours. So that was kind of disappointing, but what I did smell was really, really good. Alright, the next one we have is Saltwater Taffy Fizzy Pop. And this one smells exactly like 
lemon lime soda to me. I pick up no salt water taffy on warm, like at all. This just smells, like I said, like 7-Up, lemon lime soda, Sierra Mist, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's about it. Maybe just a little bit more sweet. Uh, the strength was not that strong, surprisingly. It was only a 2 out of 5. It lasted about 4 hours, so I probably would not get this one again. Um, yeah. The next one we have is Wildberry Mousse Pancakes. Alright, I don't smell any maple on cold or warm. This is not a maple syrup type scent at all. Um, the Wildberry Mousse is definitely the most prominent note. You also pick up a hint of like a dough or the batter from the pancake. I probably would not order this again because as it melted, it kind of came across very, very maybe waxy or slightly artificial. There was just something in here that on warm that it, when it melted for a while, I did not like at all. Um, but that's, you know, I feel like that's going to happen with any vendor. So no shade at all or to this vendor. I love this company. The strength, strength, strength was a 3 out of 5. And it lasted for about 5 hours, 5 and a half hours, give or take. So... It wasn't bad. I probably I just wouldn't get it again. All right. The next one we have is cake batter ice cream, strawberry frosting, yellow cake, sugar cookie dough. And this is another one that you can't tell what's in there, but it's like pink and purple and blue and glitter. Um so this one this smells like a delicious yellow cake with realistic strawberry filling like oh, like those cakes with like the chunky strawberry filling and you get like the seeds and the yumminess and it's super super sweet and then you get a hint of like a creamy kind of vanilla buttercream on warm i don't really pick up any cookie dough batter at all um it's strong at first but it dies down in about three to three and a half hours now, initially, the strength is very, very good. I give it a 4 out of 5, but then it it died down at about three, three and a half to 4 hours. So that was probably the lasting throw of this one. Would I get it again? Absolutely, because it smells good enough to eat, even though the label says, do not eat for use in wax warmer. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't eat it, but it smells delicious great melt i'll probably melt this one today actually because it is my birthday so i feel like this is very very fitting so definitely will melt this one today all right and the last one we have is chocolate orchid chocolate layer cake marshmallow vanilla bean noel i love this paw so cute just love it all right this one I smell more chocolate orchid on warm with the cake in the background. It is very, very, very sweet and slightly creamy from that marshmallow. The Vanilla Bean Noel, I get it in the background. Obviously, it makes it more sweeter, but that marshmallow adds an extra kind of creaminess to it. It makes it a little bit more gooey. Now, the chocolate layer cake is not an artificial chocolate at all. It is very realistic, almost like Yankee Candles chocolate layer cake, but then you get that pretty, you know, floral note in there from the orchid. Now, it's not super floral, so don't worry about that. The chocolate definitely um, brings down that floral note. It's very sweet, very creamy. It's amazing. One of my favorite blends from her. The strengths, I gave a 4 out of 5. It was amazing. This sucker lasted probably 10, 10 or so hours. I had this going nonstop, and I could still smell it. It is that good. So if you're interested in chocolate orchid scents, or if you're not even sure what this smells like, definitely hit her up on Etsy and try this one. I know for sure she has this on her website Right now, in paws, she has it in loafs, 
So if this sounds like something that is up your alley, kind of sweet, kind of bakery, very creamy, but still a hint, a teeny hint of floral in there, this is something for you and it does last a long time. And if you do get this or if you've melted it, let me know down in the comments um, because I would love to hear your experiences with the scent or any scent that I've had or that you had. Let me know. I maybe could custom blend something. But like I said, I do have another order that I have yet to film and I have one that I'm waiting on. So yes, this was amazing. I would get this again and again. Uh, I loved it so much. But that is all for my reviews on Woof Wicks. I give her a 10 out of 10. I would order from this company all the time. She is one of my favorite wax funders at the moment. Um, I feel like even in the future, she'll be someone that I would definitely order from no matter what. And I love the fact that you can custom anytime. You can ask her for a scent and she will put it on the website for you. I love that about companies. It just makes the experience much, um, much better for any customer or consumer, you know, not consumer because you're not eating it, but still <laughs> any customer. Um, it's just a very good experience. I like that about vendors when you can order something that you really, really want and you don't have to wait for the next restock. So that is awesome. Like I said, definitely give her, um, some love and definitely check her out on Etsy. She is under Woof Wicks and yeah, I'll probably try to have a link down below if I can remember to do so. If you love this video, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that little notification bell on the side. It will let you know when I upload next. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching and remember these are just my opinions. Um, I just, I don't know, I love reviewing wax for you guys and letting you know. The next one I'm still working on is Plaid Stallion Candle Company. I probably have two or three melts left to do, um, so I'm working on reviews for that. But anyway, I know this video is long. Thank you guys so much for watching. Alrighty, bye!